This sketch, Vitruvian Man by Leonardo da Vinci, compares the human form to architecture and even the entire universe. This drawing is about the symmetry of the human body and the symmetry of the universe. The thing has symmetry, it has equal, pleasing, or similar parts. Leonardo da Vinci was an amazing guy. In fact, many consider him to be one of the most diversely talented people to have ever lived. He was one of the greatest painters of all time and is sometimes credited with the inventions of the parachute, the helicopter, the tank, and many more things. He also made significant discoveries in anatomy, engineering, the optics, not to mention his interest in architecture, science, music, geology, and well, the list goes on. Da Vinci liked to take things apart in order to understand how they worked. In the sketches here, we see how his study of bird's wings helped him to grasp the concept of flight. For this project, find something you can take apart without annoying anyone, maybe a stapler or a piece of fruit, and sketch what you see with as much detail as you can. We're not suggesting you take apart the engine of your parents' car so you can sketch the carburetor. Bad idea. Stick with an orange, a stapler, the innards of a clock, or something like that. The point is to learn to understand and draw something from the inside out. In his lifetime, Rembrandt achieved that hoity-toity status where you only need one name. He was well paid and famous during his lifetime, but that didn't stop him from having money problems and personal problems throughout his life. He had a tendency to buy way too many expensive works of art. We don't recommend taking financial advice from old Rembrandt, but there's no doubt that he was a great painter. This painting is called The Kitchen Maid. He was probably most famous for his portraits. Painting portraits of famous, wealthy people helped to create much of his wealth. His self-portraits were also painted with extreme skill. However, he also painted landscapes, historical, mythological, and biblical scenes. This was during a period known as the Dutch Golden Age. Three of his four children died before reaching three months, and his wife died soon after giving birth to their fourth child. Rembrandt had a gift for painting with emotion and seemed to combine the earthly with the spiritual. Greatly admired by fellow artists, Van Gogh described him as a magician. Look up the portrait, Young Girl at the Window by Rembrandt. How do you think the girl feels? What is she thinking? Why did Rembrandt choose such a dark background? Use a mirror and a lamp or a flashlight to shine light on either side of your face. Sunlight might also work, but we want extreme light here. Try to get your thoughts and feelings into a painting or a sketch. Think about a background that might help to convey your thoughts and feelings. Claude Monet's art is a great example of the style that became known as Impressionism. He used short paint strokes and vibrant colors to create impressions. This painting, Water Lilies, shows Monet's fascination with light. It plays off the water and the trees in the background. He would often paint the same outdoor scene many times to get a sense of the changing light and seasons. This can also create an awareness of time. His wealthy father wanted him to give up painting. When he refused, his father allowed him to be drafted into the military although he could have bought his son's exemption from service. Monet's aunt would later agree to get him out of the military if he'd agree to attend art school, which he did. As he grew increasingly successful, he bought a house with two acres of land, a pond, an art studio, and beautiful gardens, which was perfect for his paintings. Use masking tape to create a bridge on your paper. It doesn't have to be curved like Monet's bridge. Make it straight so you don't go nuts with the tape. Use short strokes with bright colors. You can try to recreate water lilies or paint your backyard with a white bridge inexplicably stretched across it. Either way, learn to use your powers of observation to inform your sense of art. Notice little beautiful things that most people miss. After the paint dries, carefully peel the tape off and you'll have a nice white bridge to offset your colorful work of art. 